If you have a Stratus or any other ADS-B in weather device and you have it paired with your iPad, you have a fantastic tool that gives you full color radar in pretty much real time right on your iPad that you can overlay with your route of flight, giving you just about all the information you need right at your fingertips. There is one catch though, it may not be accurate. ADS-B weather radar being received through a Stratus or any other ADS-B in device may be late. And if your iPad processor is running slow and not populating as it should, your weather radar may be really late. And that could give you bad information. Basically, the weather that you are looking at on your iPad may not be what's going on out the window. This exact scenario happened to us on the way back from New York to DC on a super hazy day. We had been talking with flight service prior about the exclusion zone around the Hudson River corridor, and I guess they had been watching our path home. And thank goodness they were, because they decided to give us a call. Number one four Yankee, I have a report from flight services about thunderstorms along your route. You can contact them at one two two point two. 122.2, we've got that on the radar. We're just going through it now. Thanks, one for Yankee. It's probably talking about the one further down. Yeah. Approach, we're going to switch over to the 122 for two. We'll uh, let you know when we're back, all right? One for Yankee. For one for Yankee, Roger, report that one back up. We'll do one for Yankee. All right. Prepare to go into IFR. I don't know what the hell's on the other side here. Flight service, Cardinal 221 for Yankee, 6.5. In November 221 for Yankee, local radio, do you copy? We do copy, one for Yankee. In November 1 for Yankee, I wanted to advise you, sir, there has been some thunderstorms developing in the uh, vicinity of the uh, Delaware Bay, also uh, cell north of uh, Baltimore or Martin State. These are moving uh, southeast and in uh, Washington area, convective segment 10 Eastern uh, was just uh, uh, issued for some thunderstorm development. Do you have the uh, capability to see these? Yeah, we've got uh, radar on the on our iPad, and we're just we actually we're just talking about it now. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to adjust our course to uh, move south, kind of right over um, uh, right over the uh, tip of uh, May, you know Cape May there, and then come in and um, cross the Delaware River, and then uh, cut straight across, and uh, we'll keep an eye on them there. I don't see any uh, I don't see anything um, uh, active over the. Uh, over the SIFO right now. Uh, November 1, 4 Yankee, no, there's, a, there's actually a couple little cells that seem to have dissipated that were just east of uh, Andrews. So the bottom line was this. The weather picture I was seeing on my iPad was not what was really happening. For whatever reason, the weather information that I was getting was about 15 to 20 minutes late or even later than that. Hats off to Flight Service for contacting us. They really saved the day on this one. So this is what I was seeing on my iPad. And this is what was really happening. And this is what I was seeing out the window. Yeah, the most significant development that I do see is that over the uh, Delaware, North Delaware Bay, and uh, looks like some cells that have dissipated towards the Cape May area as well. So you'll probably be going through the remains of those cells. Also, uh, depending on when you make your turn there in Delaware, um, just west of Georgetown, Gulf Echo Delta, there's a, a cell that's developing right now uh, just west of uh, Georgetown, Delaware. So you probably want to um, turn west before uh, Georgetown uh, and uh, look for maybe some further development. Uh, over. Over, yeah, we're, we're gonna, um, right now we're gonna talk about whether we wanna cut around, cut behind them, and uh, come up uh, uh, come up behind them, or just continue straight and uh, shoot over safe May, and when we get over to Cape May, just um, head straight west and avoid them. Uh, we'll get back to you, and I'm gonna stay with you for a few minutes here, okay? 
Okay, November 1-4, Yankee. Yeah, your, your call on that, sir. I think it's going to be a, a little bit tricky either way uh, with the one cell uh, north of uh, Martin State if you, you know, try and shoot the gap between that and the cell south of uh, Wilmington uh, at, rather than the uh, initial plan to go to Cape May and then turn west. You're going to have minimal distance between you and the cells, but know that they are seem to all be moving in a southeasterly direction. The uh, Convective Sigmat 10 Eastern that was issued says moving at five knots. Uh, they do say from 240. That does not appear to be correct, but some fairly strong cells, top to ball flight level 450, is uh, what wow. the Convective Sigmat is mentioning. Okay, uh, let us have a discussion about it, and uh, we're going to stay with you right now. I'll uh, just get back with you in a second. Hey, November 1 for Yankee, Roger, and if you want to call me back, that's fine. Thanks. 1 for Yankee, we're going to stay with you on the frequency for a little bit. Okay, November 1 for Yankee, Roger, and um, can I get your present position then? Uh, present position is 36.2 uh, miles uh, northeast of the... Um, Cedar Lake VOR. All right, so let's have a talk here. So what do you think? Okay, November 1, 4, Yankee, uh, Roger, and uh, yeah, if you can stay with me and I can keep you up to date if I see any more uh, build-ups, but uh, yeah, you're going to have to go one way or the other around that, uh, that cell just south of uh, Wilmington, it looks like, and there's about a it looks like about three zero miles between that and the cell um, north of Baltimore Martin State um, to to get in a gap, and then nothing further really um, between you and between there and Potomac. Yeah, very good. It looks like it's going to be safer to go behind him. Okay, uh, let's have a chat here, and uh, I'm going to stay with you. I'll be right back with you. Actually, it's going to be safer to go in front of him. November one four Yankee okay. Roger right. McGuire, right. committer two nine or nine or eight. This is also a really good example of how your workload can increase by a magnitude of 10 in just a couple seconds. Two nine or nine or eight, that's better. Okay, um, let me get back up to this altitude here. Yeah, I'm, I'm off, so let me get back in the get ahead in the game. Your plan sounds good to come around the back of them. No, come this way because you got the class. Well, if you get through the class B, that's the only thing I'm thinking because you're going to be squeezed right in there pretty close to Philadelphia. Yeah, but I think it would be better if I if I cut around the back and I get agree. through the Bravo. Yep. Okay. All right, flight, flight service, what we're going to do is uh, probably the safest bet is uh, we are going to uh, head due west, actually, now. If you could, and we're going to ask to get clear through the Bravo and uh, come in behind that uh, cell that's uh, just south of Wilmington, and then we'll head south from there, and it looks like it's wide open from there. Okay, November 1-4, Yankee. Uh, Roger, so you probably want to be slightly west of uh, uh, Wilmington and, and then uh, turn in to keep your distance from the, uh, the cell uh, near the Maryland border due north of Martin State. And that one is moving slowly uh, southeastward. Very good. Hey, thanks so much for your help, and uh, we're going to go back to approach. One for Yankee. And November 1 for Yankee, Roger. Thank you. All right, so um, start thinking and map out a um, a new course. I'll do it over here, okay. and then I'm gonna, you know, because I got to reprogram this, and then um, I'm gonna get on approach and tell them what we're gonna do, and I'll kind of get a rough heading here. What we're gonna actually, if you almost went directly to uh, summit. Well, um, first, let me let me uh, yeah. let me get let me get in the game here. Yep. So, um, yeah, I don't know where Summit is. So Summit is adding. just where's That's, Wilmington. Wilmington's here. Okay, it's like right here. Is that Summit? Right here. There's Summit. So you're coming Call right that behind. That B O R right there. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to. Yeah. Yep. All right, so get the identifier and everything ready for the VOR. I'll tell them what, we, what we're going to do here. Okay. Where, there it is. Approach, Cardinal 2214 Yankee. 
That just popped up pink. Number one for Yankee, go ahead. Yeah, we uh, just had a nice launch out with flight service about a weather, and we'd like to request uh, a new route, um, if we could, uh, to avoid that uh, weather uh, near Wilmington. Number one for Yankee, stand by. That just changed. This is an outstanding example of how your ADS-B weather device may not be entirely accurate. So don't hesitate to contact flight service while you are on your route of flight for the latest weather information. They are there to help you. And if we had continued on our original path, on our original route, well, we probably would have been staying in New Jersey for the night, and who wants to do that? So I hope this helped, I hope this was useful, and I hope you learned something, and again, thanks for watching, and if you are over 50, you know what to do.